All right, how's it going, everyone? Now, um, I know there are a lot of Star Wars fan out there, and they will love to use their Force to control the smartphone device. Now, I so far I have looked up on YouTube. I don't think there were any clear instructions how to set it up. So, I decided to make this video. I hope you can share and uh, let the um, ultra Star Wars fan aware of this function out there, but. Um, technically, what I'm trying to show you is that by using the Star Wars Force Pad, you can turn on and off your TV or any of the smart home device you can control. Um, but there are certain requirements for this, and it's fairly simple. And this doesn't seem to be addressed on, and or information is available on YouTube. So I, I hope I'm the first one. Um, but anyway, here it goes. So first, you need to buy the Force Pad, and I bought the rather um, worn out effect special edition for my BB-8 there. And the way how this BB-8 works is obviously you, um, you can see the cable is connected to my TV and um, it's recharging through the USB power connection through my TV. But um, so that's that's my for, um, Star Wars bit of a interest there and um, to be able to use this force to turn on and off your tv you need to buy a device called logitech harmony hub now people what this logitech harmony hub is a beautiful device that sends multiple remote controlling signals to the relative devices that you want to work in other words, you register your remote control signaling to this device, and this will be a hub to uh, uh, in the middle to send the um, instruction to the relative device uh, that is re controllable by remote control. Anything even down to even our Dyson fan heater is controlled by Logitech Harmony Hub because of the smart home device. Now, you, as you know, you, you must have heard many times out there how, well, you can use this through Google Home or um, Amazon Alexa. Now I'm gonna show you because of this Logitech Harmony Hub. Let's show you, you've got a Google Home here. So here it goes, I'll show you how it works. Hey Google, turn on TV. Enjoy, young. Okay, you see that the TV is coming on now with the click sound and even the speakers on. That's how I set it up. And the notification on my smartphone, but basically that's super vet on. And now I'm going to use my voice control to turn off the TV. Hey Google, turn off TV. Okay, so that's how it's controlled, okay? So now today, I'm gonna to show you how you could do the same with my Star Wars Force Ban. Okay, so, um, before we get onto that, last thing I wanna show you is that you need a, also download not only the Star Wars Force Ban here, but you also need to have the IFTTT button, okay? So what this IFTTT stands for is if this, then that. You get it? If this, then that. That's why it's this, then that function. Now, I, unfortunately, I set it up so that um, uh, basically every single time when I instruct it, it gives me a notification. But anyway, so let's show you how it works. You press the start button, so if this then that, you get it? So let's register my dear Star Wars Force Band. So you first search the instructor. Okay, so if I force, not, not force, force. Can't see it properly in my, okay. Force, so the, you get three options, unfortunately. So you, you know, you people out there, you need to tell Spiro that they need to come up with more to, to have more functions to control your smart home device. But I'm just gonna show you as an example, if I do force push, then that. So wh what should I do? Well, I'm gonna use my Harmony Hub to send the signal. You see the logic here, people? I'm sure you do. I will start an, an, an activity that is loading. 
not watch movie, but let's say I will start my TV. Okay, next. So that's all set up and finish. Okay, so that is on success, right? Okay, so let's add another one actually. If this, I just want to show you um, another force band, force, and then if I go stop or let's pull it, then that, then let's go for a harmony to end the activity, which is to turn off the TV, okay? So let's turn off the TV by ending the activity and done. Next. And then you press finish. And that's pretty much it. Success, it says. Uh, so that's all done. So that's the side. Let's put on my Star Wars Force Band. Bear with me one second. So here's my Star Wars Force Band, and I'm going to turn on my um, Force Band app. So, what you do... Choose your activity. Yeah, it's asking my activity, but you go to the force control option on your app. And then use the force. Use the force, my son. So I'm just going to put that down and I'm going to use this to turn my TV, okay? So I hope I get the right angle. I'm going to use my force. Oh gosh. To turn on the TV. So I'm just going to... Push it. Okay. Yeah, you hear that? Brilliant. Now, if I'm going to do the pull function, I hope I get this covered up. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn off the TV by pulling my Star Wars Force Band because that's what I set it up. If I pull it, you can hear. That's how it is. So there you go. That's how you control your Star Wars Force Band. And, um, that's by clicking on the use force. I hope that was fairly simple people, but all you need to do basically for spending money wise, you need to get that Logitech Harmony Hub. It's worth it. Choose your activity. I will choose my activity later on, but anyway. Control combat training. Uh, bear with me. Powering down. Powering down. Okay, so that's how you use your force band as a source of a smart home controller. Unfortunately, there's only three function at the moment, but I hope you uh, see how the logic works with this smart home device controllers. And especially if you're a hardcore Star Wars fan out there, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this function. So this is the video clip of showing how it works. So thank you very much for watching video, watching this video. This is love. Jesus, please, bye.